Hey, what's up, everybody? KXHAN15 here with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Um, this one's a little different. I haven't put one up uh, for a while. I've been in learning mode and learning how to make more contraptions. This video is actually kind of a thank you to another YouTuber called Trogdor312. Uh, go ahead and check his channel out. There'll be a link in the description here. But his tutorials are really, really good. And, uh, you know, just uh, one of the things I learned recently from him is a convenient T flip flop that works reliably. By the way, I also learned this hidden staircase door from Trogdor. And, uh, you know, you can see here, this thing works amazing. I've been able to apply it to many things in my build. This is my new build that I'll be making videos on here. Outside here, you'll see uh, I do have a fireplace here. Uh, one of my flames went out there, but uh, also a T flip flop learned from Trogdor out here. They're great for dual inputs and, uh, you know, just a really handy, really useful input. And uh, again, this is really a thank you and a tribute video to to Trogdor for the videos he puts up. And um, yeah, if he watches this or comments on it, I'll be very honored. But let me just show you how to build his T flip flop here so that you can see how those creations work. I got a couple of examples kind of exposed out here, but what you have. Uh, basically is a dropper facing up, a dropper facing out into a redstone comparator going into a block. The block's basically just there to catch the item so it don't go flying out into a repeater and then into your source there. And then I have a repeater going into the top dropper. And so you can see here, turns the light off, turns the light back on. Over here I have an example where you can actually give it the T where it goes off in each direction. Here's one input. See my piston there? Boom. Extends reliably. Now in the instance of those doors I showed you, here's the T side of that. And here you can hear that the door, the piston closed. And this is so simple. I mean, he's a genius for coming up with this and doing the tutorial. But like I said, basically, you get a, um, a dropper facing up. And then a dropper facing out. A hopper into the dropper. Into the bottom dropper there, see? And then here you're going to take a comparator. You're going to be facing it out on the dropper there get you know a couple of blocks of choice it doesn't really even matter what it is just like that right there and then put another dropper here or put another block there put a repeater out of that because a, a, a comparator only puts off a weak signal so it's not really going to be enough to power anything and then I'm just going to put my button directly on here, um, you know, and that will power this uh, redstone you're going to see here. Just watch my repeater. It'll stay on. Wait, actually, you got to put something in there. So go ahead and go into your dropper that, or into your hopper. Throw in something, anything. It doesn't even matter what it is, but watch. See, the repeater stays on. Repeater goes off. Now, if you're going to extend this out, which is what most people do, uh, another great thing Trogdor taught me here is you got to put a repeater into the dropper. So you're going to put a repeater here. And we'll go ahead and put, you know, blocks of choice down, whatever you're using. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go out however far, you know. We'll go ahead and put down some redstone here. And we'll go ahead and uh, just throw a button on the end here and you can see it works I mean and it works reliably well and with this I mean you really can go off in any direction with as many inputs as you want 
Uh, but yeah, just a quick little video of what Trogdor taught me, and a little thank you to Trogdor if he can uh, um, see this video. Thank you, buddy.